And welcome back to my channel, Keeping Up with Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P, aka Kia the Crafter. And today we are working on another resin project. So before we get started, go ahead, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new content. Hit that subscribe button, okay? And give me some thumbs up if you like the content that I am providing for you. And with no more further ado, wait, 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 wait. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for watching, subscribing, and everything that you do here at the channel. I appreciate your comments, your love, your support, and keep it coming. Keep it coming, okay? And so, we're going to go ahead and get started, and we'll take you down. All right, guys, we are back with a new resin project. This is our round purse. We are going to get ready to pour our resin in here. I have about nine ounces ready to go. We're going to put some coloring in this purse. And then we're going to go ahead and decorate it all right. So what I want to do with this purse is we're going to make it black. I know y'all got like, okay, how many black purses are we going to make? Yes, we're going to make this black. So I'm going to go ahead and put my colorant in here, which is a black alcohol ink. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the metallic black as well if I can get it open I don't know why this just gives, gives me such a hard time I didn't puncture it I don't know how many times I don't really get it opened okay because I want this to be kind of metallic -y. So we're going to throw this metallic in there with it, this black metallic with that black um, regular pigment, alcohol pigment in it. And it just kind of gives it that metallic -y look. I'm going to put some more of the metallic black in there. Because I like that gold undertone that it gives. It gives like a little metalish, goldish undertone. So, yeah, I kind of like that look in this particular bag. Let me put uh, black. So... Because this will have a gold frame, so that black metallic is going to be real pretty. And I'm going to put a little bit more in there. Make sure we stir that in there good. I'm trying to stir it slowly because I have more than what this cup holds. Actually, it's an 8-ounce cup, but I put an extra ounce in here, which I need to hurry up and pour. Because that ounce was poured. Um... So I really wanted to have that metallic feel to it. I should have just used that black only, but oh well. All right. We're going to get ready to pour it in. I think that should do it. I'm going to put just a little bit more in there. I don't know. I don't want it to be that transparent. So when it goes onto that I'm trying 
trying to darken it. And I might have to put some um, Cause I want it to be somewhat opaque. So we're going to put just a dab of acrylic paint in there. And that's should, that should darken it to where you can't really see it, see through it as much. Make sure it gets stirred up pretty good. The key to a lot of it is making sure it's mixed good. I um, get a lot of people saying that it didn't cure right, it didn't do right. You have to make sure it's mixed, it's mixed well. Make sure that your measurements are precise and on point. If you over pour, just go ahead and measure it out evenly though anyway. And then just use that extra for a different mold. But don't try to skim on your measurements. That's so important. That's the most important. And making sure that it's mixed well. This is looking pretty. Okay, I think this is like as dark as I'm going to be able to get this. Um, so, we're going to, wait a minute, let me, just want to see how transparent. You're still going to be able to see through it. I really don't want it to be see-through, see-through. We're going to put a little bit, just a little bit more of the alcohol, I mean of the uh, acrylic paint in here to see if that will darken it up. I made it a little bit darker. Yeah, that made it a little bit darker. Right. So we might can do a little bit more. And darken it up some more now because I have it's gonna be thin I, it should it should cure still okay just make sure you stir it in good you have to stir the colors in good mix it in there good okay that's dark that's darker and I'm going to throw just a little bit more alcohol ink so that metallic look don't fade away from when we put the, the acrylic paint in there. And that's going to give us a little bit more and then we're ready to pour. Stir that in there good. We got a paint mixture popping off up in here, but it's going to be pretty. Scraping along my sides. We're going to get it in there good. And I think we're ready to pour it in. That's pretty dark. That's pretty dark. I'm hoping it is. Alright, here we go. So, the, the round mold takes 9 ounces. Okay? It takes about 9 to fill this one. a little bit bigger it's a little bit bigger
and this is gonna be dark oh this is gonna be pretty okay we got just a little bit so i'm just gonna try to squeeze it in here so roughly eight and a half nine and you good This is going to sit right here until I can move it somewhere else. Oh, that is nice and dark. Just like I want it. Uh-oh, I think we might have to turn it if I can. I don't want this to spill over this corner but I don't think I can move it though so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit out take a little bit out and that should scoop back recede back just a little bit okay because I don't want it to be over and I don't want to wipe it which I probably have to because it's already running so we'll just And if you do eight, it's going to be two, two less. So you just have to kind of play around with it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some more out, out of this. And it's really not that. It's just the fact that my table is not as flat as I need it to be. So if I turn it this way it'll probably receive back and we'll be okay to clean it. Clean it right on up and it'll clean up. It's just one of those things. All right. And I might can come back and pop the rest back in there. Just like that. When we get it on solid, on a stable surface, which we will when I move it. It's gonna be fine. So we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna clean my cups. This have like that little metallic feel going going through it. I must have paint everywhere because it's like all on my cups. Oof. It's alright. I don't know how it's staying that bad, but it did. So it is highly pigment, highly pigment, pigmented. I'm trying to keep everything nice and clean and neat as possible. I 
All right, so we got this part. We're this far. We're going to go ahead and knock the bubbles out of it. Get it nice and smooth. And then I will put this one in the oven as well. We'll come back, design them, put them together, and I'll have two of my purses that I need for my trip. And I'm going to be styling that profiling, guys. It is so good when you can create what you need, right? And then they're going to be super cute. From what I'm seeing in my mind. So I'll let these sit for maybe like 20 to 30 minutes first before I put them in there. Just to make sure there are no bubbles creep up on me. Um, you know, while it's curing. And that is just to give it time to settle. Give it time to settle, just kind of get in its little groove, and then once it starts, once it sit for a little while, and I know everything is good, I'll go ahead, pop it in the resin, the resin oven here, and we go from there. So go ahead, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified, guys, when I'm bringing up these new content ideas and whatnot. Because I know that you're getting ideas, okay? So go ahead and hit that notification bell and come back here so you can finish up with me, okay, in a moment. All right, guys, we are back with our round frame. We're going to go ahead and decorate this one. This The round doesn't have an opening or a side, specific side that you have to look for, so we can just go ahead and decorate. Okay, I've already cut out my logos from my Cricut Joy. Um, this is a different type of technique. I will have to show this how I did this technique. It's totally separate than this video. But for video's sake, I'm just going to tell you as I go. So the logos is, is three parts. So they have to be layered on to get the color that I want instead of using a sticker. So I have my gold, which we're going to start with the gold. And we're going to go ahead and peel that off like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this right where I want it to be so I'll know where to place my G. So pretty much about right there. So I'm going to place them. right there and go ahead and lay them down and peel the backing off okay so that gives us our G's so we got the gold G's on there so our next step is going to be to layer this red in this green is such a booger, so that will be the last one I will layer in. So we're going to layer in our red. Same thing. Put our strong grip on it. And that's probably because it's a Dollar Tree vinyl instead of a Cricut vinyl. We're going to go ahead and layer the red in. Now, this is just one strip. And so what we're going to do is layer it right into like a puzzle piece. And I'm going to turn this way so I can see it. And we're going to line it right up where it goes. Making sure everything is perfect. And then we're going to lay that in. And peel that Peel that back. And that'll give, give us the middle, okay? And it's nice and even and layered up. 
I'm gonna set this transfer tape to the side. And now we're gonna work on layering this, this green. This green is so difficult, but we're gonna get it in there. So what I did with the last one was I kind of did it in sections. I did the first two, did the bottom, layered them in. And what's happening is it's not coming up off of the tape. Even when I like kind of press it down, it's just not coming off the tape like I needed to. So we have to work with it a little bit. And so the first part I can get it because I think it's because it's a removable tape and then that gives us that bottom, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and place in the middles. And because it's a, just a little off, I do one side at a time. And the little triangles in the middle, I'm going to put them on last. Put them in there last because they're so small. And again, as you see, like it's, you just have to take your time and work with it with this particular green. I could not find, uh oh, I'm sorry. I could not find this green anywhere today but the Dollar Tree, so that's how we have it. In this particular part, I'm just gonna, let's see it's picking back up this green at the bottom. So you just gotta take your time and work with it. I just wanna get this as perfect as I can. This middle part so I can lay it in here right and it be nice and even. Okay, and then I can come back and put my triangle in the center down. And I have to kind of like use my thumb to be able to press it down a little bit. And once I can get that corner, it'll peel away a little bit and then I can just kind of lift and lay because it's removable so once you get that part down you can just kind of softly wiggle it and press into place and so that's that side now that little triangle part right here we have it and now I can just line that up right in the middle that center as much as I can and try to scrape that down and it stayed good job it's just really really taking your time with it All right, and so now we're gonna work on this other side. As you can see, it's coming along. I'm just trying to get everything to look as good as I possibly can. Because even when I show or wear or carry this purse, somebody might, you know, want to have me recreate it for them and so I just wanted to look really really good
This green is such a booger. Okay, we got it to stick on that side. Good. And I just hold it and pull it. So we got that part. Now I just gotta get this one last part. Okay. See, this was it is a booger. Like I get one side and then it'll pick up somewhere else. I think we should be able to be good. Okay. Ah. And I'm just going to smooth this out. Tuck that in. And there we have it. Finally. Okay, I got to kind of clean my letters up just a little bit. Give me a second. All right, so we got that part on, ready to go. And I'm just gonna dry this part off because I had wiped it down with alcohol. So just kind of dry it out a little bit. So I put the top coat on. All right, so this little part here, we're not gonna leave that empty. We have the last part of our logo to put on. But we had to get that layering part down first and make sure everything is looking nice, neat, and polished. All right, so we have our last part and we're gonna add that to the bottom just to kind of blend. We don't have that empty space. And it just gives it just a little extra. Now I hope I got to be real careful so that the green don't come off. Yes. Okay. So that worked. Go ahead and set that over here. And, get the, and then this would be the inside part. So another layering technique. Over the lighting, but I'm just peeling off. So this, all of these was created on my Cricut Joy, and I'm gonna place this right in that middle, right in that middle, and then that's gonna layer that in. talking about stuff will come up you're not paying attention and nice and careful and I don't know why this is giving me such a hard time to come off of here and rub it a little bit more Oh, 
No. All right. So it's in here. I just got to fix this little C part because I am a perfectionist and it ripped. And I don't want that to show up in Okay. Now you can't see it. Alright, perfect. Only I don't know. I keep hitting the screen. Okay, so we have that part done. Now all we have to do, everything is finished. I'm just smoothing everything down and out. So it gives you that little That's going to go with my dress. And so now all we have to do is put our top coat on. And it's good to go. And then this is the other one. So we have to have them both, right? So no matter what side you carry your purse on, it'll have the logo on it. And so, yeah. Now we're gonna get ready to um, is I have to like I don't want it to it was a two-piece um, and it had I can see where the break was and so yeah now I can't see it at all because it's like perfect all right I'm gonna smooth this down some more because I just lifted it up and it's perfect now we all we got to do is we pour about three ounces of resin we're gonna put the top coat on and these um, and this one is done so sit tight all right we're back I done mixed up about two ounces of resin I might need a little bit more than that but we're gonna go start with that we're gonna go ahead and coat the top scoot them down since you can see go ahead and coat the top of one that's all I'm gonna pour Spread it. Taking it right to the edge. to the edges so I'm gonna coat everything and I literally thought that my words was gonna be too small so I'm glad that they're not they fit in there just right And we 
are just trying to coat the top and it looks like that was enough to do just that it don't take much to put just that top layer and then we'll come back and um, put anything extra that we may have so we're gonna do the same thing to this one Y'all, this is going to be so cute with my little outfit. And this is my first round purse for myself. I've only made like three of these. One was, I bought it because someone ordered, wanted to order one. And then, um, that's how I started making them. And then when I made the first one, I was like, oh, these are so cute. And so I'm going on a trip, and I don't want to have all of them the same. So I think I'm going to take either two or three. I know I'm taking two purses, but this is actually one that I am taking. I might get this one later, too. And then maybe not because I'm going to need it for my dress. But it's so cool. So they are fully covered. As you can see. Two ounces is more than enough to cover the top. Have a little bit of overpour right here. So I'm going to clean some of that up. And that's okay because when I demold it. It's going to be fine. But we're just going to clean some of it up. Right. But this is so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and set it on two. My board. So that it can already be where it needs to be. Like so. We're going to hit it with the torch. Clear it up. What is going on? This is so cute. Alright. Now this little corner here. We just gonna go on ahead and do that. And what is my stick? Got a piece of something in it, hair or something. Get that out. I'm looking over and making sure it's nice and smooth everywhere. There's nothing in here that's like, got it looking funky. Right here is something I can see. I don't know if that's a glitter piece. Look like it is. Piece of glitter. All right, so we're going to let this cure, and then we're going to come back and put it together. It's 
stay tuned catch you on the next one all right guys we are back with our shells they are all done and cured ready to be demolded so we're gonna go ahead and demold this is super cute I love this I love 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 this now this has like a nice little edge all the way around so we gonna definitely have to do some work both of them gonna demold and that is it so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up one on camera and then we'll go ahead and do the other one off so I'm gonna take my trusty little nippers here and go ahead and nip all the way around is it, it it should just break but you want to be careful so if you're gonna break it break it away don't break it this way break it away from the mold you could turn them out and it'll get it kind of flush without you know doing any severe damage and make it where you can kind of probably just take the debris um, the debris tool around it This is going to be so cute. Oh, 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 be careful. Be careful when you are breaking it away. You want to squeeze and break. Okay. Be careful, throw these little pieces away because they're going to, they're sharp. If y'all haven't noticed. Take my debris tool and I'm just gonna try to and I might can't yeah because it's a little it's a little edgy I can get it a little bit and I can get it a little bit and then come back It's a little rough. Right. That's about as good as we gonna get that one. Take my trusty old file. You just going to smooth it out. It's probably better to do it that way.
There we go. This the second one. I don't know what I didn't get on camera, so I just said I'll do it. Do the second one on camera anyway. All right, so we just nipping off on this one. Same thing around the edges, taking our time, pressing and then bending outward, but still being very careful. and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and drill it because I have to you can use the debris tool if you don't have much but I know I'm gonna need this drill so I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out any now, if you have a perfect pour, you would not have to do this. But because I had a little bit more, maybe eight and a half ounces would be sufficient. But then that top coat, because when the resin heats up, it thins out. But that's okay.
And we got this one done. Super cute. I'm going to go wash them, come back, and we'll go from there. All right, so we are back. Those are the finished shells. Those are the edges. So you see how it's a little white around there. First, I want to try something and see if this works and how that looks. Now, you could take a black marker take it around and you will not be able to see that okay you can do that that's one way to do it um i thought i had a bigger one somewhere And take it around we could have got fancy and did go do this black so that it'll give it an illusion it don't draw attention and it looks polished you can wipe up anything else let that dry and that's pretty much much that all right guys so the shells are done we're gonna set them to the side i'm gonna go ahead and start working on our side shields now these i'm gonna do them the same way it's a little bit different with the round frame but you're gonna measure them out the same these are a little bit smaller again these are scraps so I'm just trying to use up what I have. I'm just gonna come over here. I'm not gonna take much out um, because I just kind of need to see. They are the the um, round frames are a little bit tricky when it comes to installing the side shields. You will see. They're not going to be perfect. I haven't figured out a way to make them perfect, but I have used the same method and it gives me the protection and keep the purse from opening all the way and all of my belongings falling out. So we're gonna take the film off. And then I'm just going to, I want it to come to about right here. And that's a good little opening. So I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to start by the mechanism. I want that side. But I want it to be like that. Okay. It's going to turn inward and we'll put it around on one side. So let me get my tape. I'll measure it out. I'm going to work this thing in. Alright, so we're going to measure out our tape. 
we always do. And then cut it up the middle. Same process. It's just laying it in that's tricky. Some of that foul dusting got into my nose. And uh, yeah, it's got my nose running. Put it right along the edge like we always do and peel the backing off. I'm going to start towards right where it's opening and work my way up. So I'm going to fold it in like so, like in a circle motion or circle um, way and I'm going to try to get it in here and press it now is it going to stop it all the way no I need to bring this up a little bit more you will have to have like a little change purse to go in here little change purse for your change you can't put like little um coins and things in it because it'll slip probably slip through but you can hold like your cell phone lipsticks things like that and i have a little coin purse that i bought from the dollar tree to put in my per little small purses um for my coins and we're gonna do the same thing and tack it in on that side Pack it in on that side. This is our other piece. And we're gonna lay that down. It's sticking together and then sticking to smooth that out. Again, you just gonna tuck it in there. Take your stick and press. So it's still giving you a side shield. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to stop the belongings from falling out. Okay? And give you a little protection. You're going to do the same thing for the other side. And that's actually a perfect size um, for some scraps to work. Because it still gives me a nice opening while keeping my stuff in there so we want to make sure we kind of even it up a little bit so that they're kind of the same in a sense not that one to be too high so it should go right there and we're going to measure out our tape do the same thing this is actually the easiest this side this round one has been I used to cut it and do all that, but you don't need to do all that. Put little slits in it so that it'll be in, it'll be in on its own. So that's one step we don't have to do. If you've seen some of the other ones, well, only, I've only did, I think, one other round purse for a customer. And that was on the resin with me video it was a live that i did and yeah we yeah we had a good time i need to clean my scissors because they sticking that's just from the cutting the tape all right so we gonna stick that on that edge Put this one to the side. Can I put that up? Yeah. Close to the edge. Mm 
this side. Yep. All right. So this is our bottom. We're going to come same direction, place it in. Smooth it down. Take it around. And do the same thing. That does be everywhere. And I'm just wiping it off where I'm about to place this tape. Press it down. And we're going to fold that in. Just like we have done on the other side. And press. Press it around. And then that gives you. Now you can make it go taller if you want. But that's pretty much all I need to get in there. Keep my phone and belongings from falling out. Once they sit in there, they should be fine. So, our next part is the glue. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and glue our side shields in. It's like we always do. And I'm not going to put any glue where the mechanism opens. I'm going to skip that little area on both sides and just come back around because I don't want the glue to stop it from opening. And that's one side. Make sure we line it up because on, on these there is no little opening or gauge to show you the top so you want to make sure you get it in there right so i'm gonna start make sure i line it up with the bottom push it up push my plastic in place it on down pull my plastic the other way so i can get it in there correctly there we go and you can come back and clean it up once you got it in there that's one side this side, I'm gonna push the, the plastic to the other side so when I put the top on it'll be out my way put the shell on I should say and we're doing the same thing on this side, taking it around. Move your plastic back. And do not put it on the little latch part where it's open. Skip that part, take it all the way around. line it up nice and even push my plastic down and put my bottom in there we have it it's closed we're gonna go ahead and glue an um Set it over to the side we want to make sure that it is lined up and it's just a little bit off so i'm gonna turn them 
to make sure that the Gucci is lined up even. With the buckle I want that right in the middle with that so that everything is straight okay we good to go we're gonna set this to the side let it dry okay come back finish her up make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe notification bell all that good stuff and stay tuned for the finished product, okay? All right. All right, guys, we are back with our round purse. She is nice and cured. I love, 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 love this purse. Love, love, love this purse. I'm just going to um, shine her up a little bit because she got some fingerprints. I have to wash my hands, but she came out really nice. Only thing I would not do is... I, I I wouldn't I'm not I wouldn't do the black um, marker because it changed colors and it looks kind of mm, I don't know it will do what I needed to do though so what I'm gonna add to this is a chain which I have this chain right here so we're gonna add this to it but before we add that I'm going to add some tassels to this little loose um it just kind of hangs there so i want to add some tassels to it and just kind of make it functional for something so the tassels came with this little chain so we're gonna break it down and um yeah add these tassels to it and that's just to give it a little bit more um, per se and I was looking for my tools, but I don't have them up here. So we're going to go ahead and just try to make it do what it do. So I need this round piece right here. Is, that, is those it? No, those are not it. I thought that was them. So I'm going to have to use my nippers very carefully because this this will probably cut this whole little jumper loop and that's what I need out of here I need to open it up without breaking my nail take the clasp off we can use that for later and I want to open it up where it will loop in all of my tassels here so we are gonna put one tassel on there we're gonna put the black one on there and then we're gonna do the red oops okay Let's see where we at so I don't want it to come off That was the green. We're going to do the black. And the red. And I'm trying to hold it in here so I can get them all three on here. And close it back up. Hopefully we won't lose any of the tassels. And so that's how that will look. And it is just kind of dangle a little bit. I probably could have just did two, but why not do three? And so I'm just going to have it dangle just a little bit from... to have like a little dangle 
nothing major but cute so maybe right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it and it comes right off okay so it leaves us with our tassel dangle and it's gonna need the jumper cave the jumper um, ring so we're gonna take the one off the bottom open it up and we just gonna take that completely off and add it to the very end of this of our tassel so that creates that little hanging thing for us and then that will tie in here open it up some more from the bottom loop it in and squeeze squeeze it shut <clears throat> and I need to squeeze this shut too so that the jumper ring does not come off or come out and the only way to do that to get my pliers because it will open wide enough and grip it and just smash it tight okay, I think that's that's good to go and so it'll just kind of hang you know like so and I think that is super cute. Just gives it a little, you know, little extra. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our rings in, our purse chain in. I had to buy this little jumper part, the little claw, because this was too thick to go through the holes that is on the little tab. So I had to buy this to go take it through the little holes here. And that, that works perfectly, perfectly fine. We'll loop in the other side. Take that in through the loop. And there she go. She is all set and ready to go. I will show you the finished product at the end with my photos. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe bell. I mean that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new content. Y'all, this was so dope and so pretty to make i would nor um what i figured i would do is just add uv resin with a brush right i didn't think of it with a brush and that takes off the ash from the filing um it opens up really nice so you would just pull your tassel back and open it up small a minute Let's go that way okay Pull your tassel back, open it up. It opens up nicely. Side shields is in there. Okay. Remember, I used the scrap, so that's big enough for me to put my phone and any of my belongings in there. It came out really nice. It came out really nice. And then it's got that gold look on the side, so that's super, super cute. And it's going to look adorable with my dress. So the only thing is when you close it, you want to make sure all of your mechanisms are on the outside and then close. And there she go. Okay, hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell. She's all set. See you on the next one.